Okay, so now I'm going to, for the second half of this, I'll add a few more images um, to my uh, work that I have here. Um, so I have uh, a few things that I can add. Now, notice what I'm doing right here is I'm holding down the shift button while I pick a couple of different things, right? And then I say open and all of those pictures will show up. And then I can go around and start moving these pictures around, um, make them smaller. Oopsie, undo that one if you ever make mistakes. So these are all, these all came in together. So let me see if I can separate them now. That's an interesting call, Mr. Waters. All right, there's that one. There's that one. All right, good. There's the babe. Excellent. Uh, there's she is. And here and he is up here. So we can put his picture over here. And if you want one picture to come to the front and over top of another picture, um, you just can um, double tap on it or right click on that one and change the order and just bring it to the front and then it moves that one into the front, right? Like this one is cut off at the bottom, which I probably shouldn't have done this other one, so I'll just reverse it. Um, but you're allowed go ahead let your pictures overlap with each other let them uh it's perfectly fine that's what you want to have happen with these right and then uh once you have your 10 pictures um oops i need two more so insert two more pictures um let me go with uh elvis presley uh oh elvis presley and the neutrality X perfect because that became quite a funny thing in the day well not really there we go and then there's Elvis and there thank you very much all right, so I got Elvis in here. Let me make my neutrality X a little bit smaller. Perfect. Actually, I'll sort of square them back up. Perfect. There we go. All right, good enough. So now to put an image in the background, you want to uh, insert an image and you want to search the web. And I want you to put a color behind it. It doesn't matter what color. So if I want red, I can say red background. It'll find a whole bunch of different red backgrounds. Um, I don't really care. Uh, I just want you to be able to know how to do this. And then it's going to cover the whole page, which is perfect. Go ahead and stretch it out. So it literally covers everything, every inch of the paper. Um, and then once you have everything covered, again, right click or double tap and send it to the back. And now your background is that. Okay. All right. And that's how you create your collage. Make sure you title it the year and call it collage and then add your 10 pictures, all right? A minimum of 10 pictures for this assignment. All right, hope you enjoy it.